probably going on Facebook and so for all of you that are wondering how the hell I make the t-shirts this is kind of for you all of you. Um, so if you check this out right here this is the uh, this is the SLP shirt for this year um, so it's you know it's a plastisol ink on a uh, cotton t-shirt you can even get the like tiny little details like right here that like half tone little specks of buildings all these little windows this right here is uh, one of my test shirts um, usually when I start printing I do one test run to sort of test how it's going to look uh, as you can see it's kind of off um, it's kind of messy but this is all to get out the you know to do the first run make sure that uh, there's nothing surprising about to happen uh, if you see right here this is a, a big pile of shirts originally it was up to like here I put all my shirts this way face up um, today was a hundred, hundred shirts, which I've been working on for like an hour and a half so far. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, if you look up here, we have, I, I use Union Ink, that's, that's the company I prefer for inks, for Plastisol inks. Um, I got a, a fan blowing the air this way, and it's going straight out the window. If you follow it, it goes right out here, and then I got a dual exhaust fan blowing the fumes out the window. This green thing that swivels, this is a flash dryer, so basically it's like a toaster that's just shooting heat downwards. So this right here is, I call my, uh, you know, one station four color printer press. Um, what else we got? This is, this is the mixing table, so we can mix our, our color. This is where art school actually comes in handy, so you know how to mix a color that you want to get. So here we go. I'm going to start by um, taking some spray mount, just making sure that the platform is sticky enough to keep the shirt so it won't move during, during the printing process. Um, so line it up, make sure it's all smooth, flattened down, spin it around so that my screen's ready. Do one pull, flood the screen, bring it up. As you notice right now, it's, it's really messy right now. Um, you know, it's not where we want it to look like. If you see right over here, this isn't, this isn't a finished shirt yet, so I want to do one more pass on it. So I'm going to cook this for six seconds or about four, five, six. That just cures the top um, of the image. And then this is the second and final pass, and you can already see that is the finish that we like. You know, even the tiny, tiny details are coming through really opaquely. And then we want to cook it for another few seconds. All right. Now at this point, it's dry to touch. You're not going to get it on your hands or have it rub on the shirt again. But we want to cure it so that it'll it'll last a long time. It'll last someone owning the shirt as well as going through the washing machine. So at this point, we're going to cook it for 60 seconds, a full minute. Um, and one way to tell, you know, even if you're around 50 seconds to a minute, one way to tell is is noticing a lot of these fumes, a lot of these like smoke-like vapor coming up from the shirt, and you can start to see it if you come down here. Um, you can. You might be able to tell, it's sort of hard to see on the camera. Um, but those fumes are, are, are cooking off of that, which is really good. All right, so now this is, uh, this is finished. So the ink is hot, but as you see, it's not rubbing off. It's, this is a finished shirt right here. Um, so now what I do is, is, you know, and it all depends on how much space I have. For now, I'm just tossing it up, catching it halfway through and then folding it just like so, and then stacking it in the pile. Um, let's see here. One of the things you start to notice if you do this a lot is that you don't actually have to record
record the time specifically anymore. I keep a, a stopwatch near me just to sort of like um, track myself in the, f in the first few shirts, but once you get the, the hang of it, you start to notice that it's sort of like a, uh, almost like a performance art piece where everything has its place and, and you can track everything based on what you're doing at the time. So that's about it. Um, well in the studio. It's the best, it's the best, it's the best. Ooh, 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 ooh,